Greetings. Margaret Clarkson. She's going to tell us a little bit again about So Send I You, a song written from John chapter 20, verse 21. As my father had sent me, even so send I you. In the second stanza, she said, So send I you to loneliness and longing, with heart and hungering for the loved unknown, forsaken, home and kindred, friends and dear ones. So send I you to know my love alone. As the Father had sent me, so send I you. God has called many of us and send us out into his vineyard to walk for him. And uh, we've had a little slowdown in terms of the pandemic. But I'm trying to encourage myself and encourage you for us to arise and get back to the work of the Lord. He will take care of us. And we are using Nehemiah. And we're in chapter 2. And we're looking at verse 9 down to verse number 11. Let me read two verses. Then I came to the governor beyond the river and gave them the king's letters. Now the king had sent captains of the army and horsemen with me. When Zambalat, the Homanite, and Tobiah, the servant, the Ammonite, heard of it, it grieved them exceedingly that there was come a man to seek the welfare of the children of Israel. In our text, Nehemiah now is at the place where he rode into town. If you listen to the devotions before, it will bring us up to where we are now. He rode into town after receiving the leave of absence and enough documents to take him past all government officials. The captains, the king's army, and horsemen rode with him. The king sent them along with him to help him on his journey. For his protection, they went along, and with all the authority that Nehemiah needed, he had from the king. I want to say to us today that when Jesus sent his disciples out to minister, he gave them all the authority that they needed to go and to do the job. In Matthew chapter 10, reading from verse 1 to 15, the Bible said, And when he had called unto him his twelve disciples, he gave them power against unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. Now the names of the twelve apostles are these, the four Simon, who is called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, Philip, and Bartholomew, Thomas, and Matthew, the publican, James, the son of Alphaeus, and Libius, whose surname was Thaddeus. Simon, the Canaanite, and Judas his chariot, who also betrayed him. In verse 5, These twelve Jesus sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans, into Enoch, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as ye go, preach, saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the leper, raise the dead, cast out devils. Freely ye have received, freely give. Provide neither gold, nor silver, nor brass in your purse, nor scrip 
for your journey. Neither two coats, neither shoes, nor yet staves, for the workman is worthy of his meat. And enter in whatsoever city or tongue ye shall enter. Inquire who is worthy, and they abide till ye go thence. And when ye come into an house, salute it. And if the house be worthy, let your peace come upon it. But if it be not worthy, let your peace return to you. And whosoever shall not receive you, now hear your words, when ye depart out of that house or city, shake off the dust off your feet. Verily, I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city. What am I trying to share with you? I'm sharing with you that when God sent out his disciples, he gave them all the authority that they needed as he sent them out. So it is with us as we go forth, we have the authority we need to get his job done. In Matthew chapter 28 and verse 18, the Bible said, and Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. As we go to do the work of God, be reminded, He has also given us the authority and the power. He is with us to get His work done. Now the day came for Nehemiah to arrive, and he stepped up to the governors, and he gave them his diplomatic status letters from the king with all the authority he needed. Remember, in verse number 9 of chapter 2, the Bible said, Then I came to the governors beyond the river and gave them the king's letters. Now the king had sent captains of the army and horsemen with me. So he steps up to the governors and he gave them the document, the letters from the king so that he could have this pass. I call it diplomatic immunity. From the moment he arrived, he began to be faced with opposition. From the moment Nehemiah arrived, opposition he faced. In verse 10, when Sambalat the Homanite and Tobiah the servant, the Ammonite, heard of it, it grieved them exceedingly that there was come a man to seek out the welfare of the children of Israel. Two men by the name of Sambalat and Tobiah became angry that there was a man who will now look out for the welfare of the children of Israel. As we look at the rest of this chapter, we will see three things that Nehemiah involved himself in, in getting this work done. I want to tell you, before we even go a little further, I want to tell you that whenever you set out to do the work of the Lord, there will always be those who will oppose you. But be reminded, the Bible says, the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church of God. For he said, I will build my church. We are just blessed to be walking along with him as servants as he builds his church. Today, I encourage you, let's rise up. You know, Let's do what God has impressed upon us to do. Whatever walls need to be rebuilt, whether they be physical or spiritual, let's do it for the glory of God, because pretty soon now, we are going to be with Him. May God bless you. May you have a great day in the Lord. Would you please just share this devotion with a friend or family member? Our Father, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for health. Thank you for strength. Thank you for your word that we can go back and look in your word. 
We pray that you would use your word to our hearts. And God, we'll be all that you would have us to be. And even as we share with our friends and with our loved ones, encourage your people. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. Ever so often, I wish to share my telephone number with you. That is 721-580-7792. 721-580-7792. God bless. Have a great day in the Lord.